Holy crap! Holy cow! Alright, I walk up and see this gem. I was tripping out, I gotta put this back. I'm not here for that though. This is what I'm here for, but it's not even running, so that's probably just the thermostat. Let's go check that. Two different readings, so let me put mine. Should have just left the panel off until they called for it, but I'm not that kind of tech. I already put it back. Now let's see. I gotta get out of here because I'm generating heat. And we'll check it wirelessly. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have a timer before I mess with the thermostat. And it's at 45. I wanted to see it in its natural state is natural habitat so it's not turning on. All right, nothing uh, too horrible here. It was a simple call. Sometimes you do have to set those thermostats kind of high depending on where they're located uh, especially if it's like that pigtail kind and you can't put the sensor where you want it so i just lowered it uh to right under 40 and it seemed to, to be cutting out around 35 so i think we're gonna be good they just get out of calibration a little bit so i'm gonna take a lunch and then i gotta go check in ac i think uh they wanted us to do maintenance today but i didn't have time um to go out there because I got called out over here and I had to do a few things on the way over. So I'm gonna take a lunch. We're gonna go look at the AC, see what it needs. And if it's if it's just dirty uh, in the morning tomorrow, we're gonna we're gonna do that PM. Now this is the uh, kitchen AC. They said the back was hot. Uh, yeah, that's not doing too well. The evaporator is cold though. Section lines are slightly cold, not great. So that means all the way to the compressor is just cold. It's not sweating or anything. Uh, micro channels, they look like they are dirty. I can st still see through them and stuff, but they look like they're covered in uh, dust and dirt. Find about the lobby, this is uh, technically the lobby and the dining. So this is sweating. Lower's good, evaporator's cold. Filters are okay. But I bet you if we have a dirty condenser, it's not going to be running efficiently. So that section line is mildly cold, not sweating. And on this one, we got a micro channel. So we got to clean that out. And this one's not going to ever work efficiently because this is the one that's backwards. So over here is actually where the supply vents are. And the supply blower that goes down here is blowing air through the return grill. And there's no easy way to fix that because it's it's technically uh, installed backwards. I've already looked inside and everything. There's no easy way to fix it. We need a curb adapter to fix this one. All right, so now let's unscrew this one. Let's see what it looks like. It is running, compressor's on, fans on. I hear a buzz. Holy crap! Holy cow, dude. Alright, let's get into the blower. Like I said, the crust is running, so it's been running like that. Oh, I think I can hear the blower trying to run. So, I don't know if you can tell. I'll try and get a clear uh, shot of that. That blower uh, wheel is all screwed up. It's, it's, it's fallen in and all the things are broken. So, let's shut it off. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it off because this is uh, a thick so, 
I'm about to get a whole assembly and then, uh, probably just a new motor while we're at it. I don't know what happened there. The connection is like super close to that frame right there. The bracket. So, just to get the whole thing together, this won't be that hard to take out. It's a, it's a small unit, so it's going to be easy to replace. That'll be an easy repair. Just got to leave it off for now, and I'm gonna go talk to our train supply house here. All right, guys, it's getting hot. It's the afternoon, so like I said, I'm, I'll reschedule their uh, cleaning maintenance for the morning. So tomorrow morning, we'll be here to get those other units going. In the meantime, I'm gonna write up my quote, which, if you guys don't know, I use Jobber uh, software. It's an app. It's an online website that you can just connect from anywhere phone tablet laptop and if any of my guys do invoices or quotes i can go look at them myself and then i just click with a few clicks email it out text it out whatever i need to do and then once i once i see it and approve it i can see all that and then we'll be back i'm sure they're gonna fast track this uh blower because it's very uh it's getting very hot in there it's like maintaining 78 so tomorrow we'll try and get it a little bit better with the cleaning uh try and get everything up to uh, cooling more efficiently and then I have to see if they have that in stock or if we have to order it but more than likely we will do that very soon Alright guys, so uh, that's going to do it for today. That's going to be the end of the video there. And uh, a customer likes to buy their own uh, parts sometimes. They have an HVAC guy that they hired up north. And he kind of walks them through all that, gets some prices and stuff. And if they have any issues, then we get a part, the part for them. Appreciate you guys for watching, for tuning in. Uh, just a reminder, we do have live streams every Tuesday night now. Those live streams are going to be just us chatting. I'll have topics. So just so you guys know, there's, it's going to be every week. It's going to be uh, Tuesday nights, hopefully. Uh, as long as uh, people show up and chat, I'll keep doing it. So we'll see how it goes. Those live streams will also be turned into podcasts. So basically, it's, I'm just going to rip the audio and upload it. So if you guys are on Spotify or Apple, uh, you know, all the podcast platforms, I'll try and have them up have it up on all of them that way if you can't tune in uh, to watch it you can listen to it on on a drive or something like that i'll try to have it organized we'll answer a lot of questions i'll try and go over some comments that i get and you know just chat about work highly recommend if you guys have any questions uh, or if you want to talk about anything check out the live stream also i have a bunch of merch going up I don't like to push it. I never did. I kind of started posting about it. So thank you to all the guys that ordered over the weekend that I updated and then posted about it. I had a lot of orders come in. Uh, so a lot of t-shirts and hoodies and some stickers up. I'm trying to get some fun designs uh, going because even our work shirts have a fun little um, saying on the back. So I converted those to, to shirts you can buy and then I made a whole bunch of other uh, ones that have different sayings on them and stuff. So there's gonna be a whole bunch HVAC related workwear, uh, t-shirts and hoodies, uh, all sorts of different colors. And I made sure that they are the premium t-shirts. They're gonna be good quality and good, good fit and all that. Um, you just order them. I'll have everything linked below. If you guys ever wanna support by being a, a member of the channel, you can do that down below. I'm gonna leave everything linked. Um, so thank you to the guys that I do have whoa so we got a new member during the live stream this week so right before i got to upload this video so i just want to thank uh alex jesse gary and ruben 
Uh, I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel that way. And you start with a gray refrigerant tank and you work your way up the flavors. So like some of the guys have the uh, R22 flavor, 134, and it, it, just, it just goes from there. It's a little fun thing I did with the badge. And sometimes I post uh, behind the scenes or upcoming uh, things, extra photos and stuff like that. I'll have discounts and, and stuff for merch on there too. So if you guys wanna help out that way, it's greatly appreciated. The, you being here, subscribing, liking, com leaving a comment, and just watching the video through is, is plenty enough. Appreciate you guys for, for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I see you guys. Mm -hmm.